This is Bob. He's standing in the basement being super efficient. Thank you, Bob. Welcome back, everyone, to another installment of XCOM Enemy Within. We're gonna start right off by buying four gas grenades for money and thin man corpses. Why? Because if you remember, India wants them and they pay top dollars for some gas grenades made by alien intestines. So we get 190 space cash, and uh, we'll our use these to buy a satellite and uh, an uplink targeting aim module for our airplanes, one time use. Then we're gonna go to the foundry, and we're gonna buy tactical rigging, because that will give our soldiers two items per mission instead of just one. And then, without further ado, we just came home, everyone needs our help. It's Australia, Germany and Argentina. And everyone has their pros and cons, but we're going to Australia. Because we don't want Asia to get go into full panic, because we already have enough panic on our hands. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send the Maid Brothers, the Super Robot Bjorn, and Ellie Rushforth for some extra training. Because we need to keep a high level of uh, ranking soldiers in our roster, we can't have three colonels and the rest be rookies, you know? Everyone has to see their fair share of combat. I promise. Alright, so we're at some sort of uh, automobile workshop in Australia. I expected more kangaroos and koalas. But let's see, there's a lot of open gates here, but there's also a little side door. Let's use this as our breaching point, because we can't... Uh, we can't have uh, ourselves be too seen. Alright, as we open the door, the gorilla-like mutons charge for battle. Uh, so let's see, how are we gonna deal with these, these men here? Let's see, we have uh, trips and crash ready for a breach. Heading, Heading Dennis to some full cover here. 63% and 41, that's not excellent by any means, but by all means, take the shot and okay, shaved half the health of that muton, that's good enough in my book. Let's see, we're gonna move, where are we gonna move Matty, really? Let's see. We can blow up this car, because by now I know that collateral damage is excellent. There we go! Lots of damage! Happy damage, as I call it. So that muton is almost dead. So let's see. Can we move Ali right up in the face of this muton to do an Eva Pitchy and execution maneuver? 97% chance. Do it! You Muppet! No! Okay, so this situation just got a hell of a lot worse. Because someone, I, I don't want to say who, Ali, is going to get blasted in the face a second from now, more or less. So question is, who will Matty kill? Because the one that won't that won't be killed by Matty will be taking a fat shot at Ali. Might as well execute that one on point blank range. And let's see. Oh. Yeah, you were lucky, Ali. Oh, Weapons free. floaters. I hate floaters. They're so sporadic and erratic and crazy. But okay, Ali. Okay. It's better to be shot at by a floater than a, than a muton, I guess. Ask Bjorn. No, wait. Bjorn was killed by Thin Man. Okay, whatever. Bjorn is in cover, reloading his gun after the collateral damage. Let's see, we're suppressing the floater with Dennis here, because uh, otherwise he'll start shooting at us and go crazy. So we have just enough cover to move Ali into better cover there. And let's see if we can move Matty so he isn't too separated from everyone else. And there we can see there's a meld just outside the door here. Let's see if we can get to that without endangering ourselves. And oh my god, tentacle hentai is happening. Mr. Tickles and Mr. Touchy Feels have entered the battle and gone invisible. That floater tried to make a move and Dennis said, 
No, I will shoot at you. And he destroyed the wall. Excellent. Good enough for some. Okay, one floater teleported to the front side. The other one seems to be in the corner there. Yep, taking shots at Matty. Oh, he's even suppressing Matty. That's crazy. That means we should take care of him first so Matty can move properly. Baboosh! Ali helps a friend and Matty is free to move again. And by free to move, we mean go right past the floater, sit next to him, press a 12 gauge laser into his mouth and blow him up. Got him. Do you measure lasers in gauges? I guess not. But here's a, here's Mr. Touchy Feels. And he wants some man flesh. And he was severely denied his desires. He's still moving even though he's dead. That's gross. Ugh. Stuff that moves makes me sick. Alright. So after, after that happening, Bjorn moves out to secure the meld area only to take a nice plasma burn in the mouth didn't went too good for that floater if you shoot the Bjorn you get the mall I guess oh and there's mr. tickles or whatever his name was He's taking a nice shot from Dennis but no one else was an overwatch here which means that Ali oh seekers going for the females Oh man, they're just filling up the stereo stereotype beverage here. Alright, so we gotta take that one out or else Ali's gonna be sore in the morning. Dennis, do it. Make it happen. Dennis, the eternal ladies man. Always there to help. And he just combat rushes all over the place. Like, mm -hmm. Alright. I almost forgot, but there is a muton out here. And he takes a reaction shot at Bjorn. Man, I am abusing my mechs way more than I should. I'm like, run out and trigger whatever overwatch you can so everyone else will be safe. I do sometimes forget that there's a man in there. A man that gave everything for me, my Earth, and the XCOM project. I gotta start treating my robots with some dignity. That and stop calling them robots because I'm pretty sure that's a racial slur for robot people. Alright, so let's move everyone out back here. Let's see. Yeah, let's move Bjorn back in. We can't have him standing there like a bullet sponge forever. So let's see, is this mutant still being a coward? And uh, after moments of hunkering down, we realize that yes, he is a coward. So we're gonna see if we can reposition him in order to bait him to come into a more favorable position. And this little gorilla alien eats right out of my hand. Not only did he go into a total kill box, he went right face to face with Matty Maid who's carrying an arc thrower, nice. baboosh, and you're coming home with us. Yeah, we're gonna do things to you that you didn't think was possible. <laughs> and I'm not just talking probing, boy. Whoa. Is that a floater? Yeah, well, if this is a floater, destroy the entire workshop, guys. I don't care. Australia has plenty of those. So... Who cares if we lower, lower one with the ground? Levels one with the grounds, that's what you say. Excellent. We lost all the meld. Awesome. It's not like we needed any more of that, right? Mm. Yes, we did. Alright, more floaters are moving into attack position. But we are cowering in this alley with all our overwatches. And Dennis just mm, spurts his combat rush all over the place again. So our ratings are excellent, excellent, poor, which is meh. But it's okay, you know, we have two, two mechs. We have some gene-modified people. We don't need meld right now. We always need meld. What am I talking about? That's like saying I don't need money. So maid, Matty maid, gets to choose between other flush that is useless. Flushes them out of cover, but they always run into the next one at the either way so we're gonna give him rapid fire that means he can take a minus 15 aim shot times two which will be excellent when we give, give him a new shotgun 
Ali gets lightning reflexes so he can interrupt some proper overwatches and there we go Europe is crazy oh my god the XCOM project is flying out the window right now we got one satellite and we can launch one more into orbit until our uplinks are you know overworked Oh my god, so many people are gonna leave us. And this is the first time I'm starting to think, holy shit, this is going to hell. But with that said, we're gonna keep on fighting. And I promise you, we'll kill some aliens next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.